What is going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to transform your carpet from this to this. Then stick around, cause I'm gonna show you how I did it under a budget of $1,000, under a week, and all by myself. Let's get to it. So these are some useful items you'll need to remove the carpet. Knee pads to protect your knees, carpet cutter to cut the carpet, hammer to hammer down any nails that are sticking up, and scraper for any staples that are left over. Another thing I like to do is to cut all my carpet to five foot sections so I can throw it away easier. Let's get to it. So yeah, cutting the carpet into five foot sections is the best tip when it comes to demoing carpet. Um, it helps organize trash and just stay organized overall. And those knee pads come in handy because those staples sometimes go through the knee pad and still prick you. So yeah, I need to invest in better knee pads. And over here I'm just scraping the floor and getting all the rest of the stuff that I missed. And you can see it's a lot of trash that I picked up. So for sure always scrape the floor before you lay down the floor. Alright, quick pro tip. Anytime you're dealing with wood flooring like this, you want to get them all out the box and get them acclimated to the temperature of the house. Also, with that being said, you want to mix them up and stagger them because although the boxes are the same color, the same brand and everything, it doesn't matter. You can have a light spot here and then the next row will be really dark because they're all made differently. One more quick tip. You want to stagger your joints. So I usually do a full piece, 8 inches, 34 and 21. That way none of them line up and they're also more than 12 inches apart on each joint. 12s will guarantee you you have no weak joints at the end of your installation. Since this is a floating floor, you want to make sure that you have an expansion gap, quarter inch, all the way around. What can happen is your AC goes out and it can buckle in the middle due to the heat expanding the wood. So you always want to make sure you have that expansion gap. The tools I'll be using is the pry bars to get it in the corners. Another pry bar just in case. So I'm actually about to mention this, but yeah, this is my first time laying down luxury vinyl planks. And it's a lot easier to laminate. And really all you need is a mallet to install it. So yeah, I think I'm going to use this more often. I feel like it's a durable material still. So we'll see how it goes. Full disclosure, this is actually the first time I'm installing luxury vinyl planks. It's actually easier to install in uh, laminate form, which is what I'm used to. It's easier to cut, but it's more flimsy and you gotta be more careful with it. Um, with that being said, I'm gonna show you how the fastest method I found right now. So usually with laminate flooring, the best tip I can give is to start away from the wall, connect two rows, and then push it to the wall. But with luxury vinyl, it's actually different and you don't have to do that. First piece, you just put it in a groove, at an angle like this, 45, and then you snap it down and it catches. It makes a small click. It's not like laminate where it makes a big click, it makes a smaller one. And then what I like to do is push it to the wall, give it that quarter inch expansion gap. And there we go. And then the next piece is same exact thing except I get in the groove on the long part and then I slam it back to the first piece. And I, I go down with it, hold it. And then after I get this crease in right here, just push it back to the other piece and that's it. For cutting it, you can do two things. You can measure it or you can just turn it around. Mark right where it meets the last piece. Take a square on that mark. And what I do is I cut it twice. So I score it, score it again, and that should be fine. Yeah, you didn't see that. <laughs> and then what I do is I just take my knee right in the middle, snap it down once, keep it like that folded so you can cut the under guard. And then the same thing. You slide it in first on the long part, snap it down, hold it. Hit it until that gap goes away. And if you need to, you can always hit it with the mallet this way and you're pulling it towards you. So if you've made it this far into the video, please think about subscribing. Um, I'm actually redoing my entire house. I'm about halfway through. It's about 2,600 square feet, so it's a pretty big size home. Uh, it has five bedrooms and three baths. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, I'm about, like I said, halfway through and it just takes a while because I'm working after work. This is not what I do full time. So yeah, please be patient. So this is what I got done for today. Uh, about three hours worth of work. It's about 11 boxes, about 16 boxes total. And it looks like I'm gonna have a little left over, which is fine. 
because I'm gonna uh, leave it off right here and then I gotta do the kitchen later because I gotta pull up the vinyl. So yeah, this is what I've done so far and how to stop. Because look, <sighs> blisters. As you can see while I'm laying down these last planks, uh, this box comes with around four different shades of brown. So that is why I said to stagger the pattern because you don't want to lay all one row light colored or all one row really dark. Now I'm ready to install trim. I just do everything at 45, so meet in the middle, use the oscillator tool to cut it, and that's pretty much it. So I just got done installing the trim. I'm not gonna patch it or paint it yet just because I haven't finished the rest of the house and right here I need to pull up that vinyl but that's a little tricky because it has a thin piece of plywood underneath so yeah it's gonna be a lot of work and yeah this is the final product of the floor which took all about around three to four days uh, I'm work I'm usually working after work so that's what takes me a little longer but if I was at it all day probably be two days one day the demo and maybe lay like half of the block boxes and then the other day to finish it. But here's the floor. Any questions, just leave me a comment. To the next one.